What did I discover? Okay. Well, it looks kind of interesting, doesn't it? Well, this is the daily range system. Okay, that's what this overbought and oversold cloud is that you're looking at. So let's reverse engineer this, and we'll take apart the daily reverse system. Or daily, uh, yeah, daily range system. And we'll hit apply. Okay? Now it clears up a little bit, and what we're left with are these fractal chaos bands. Okay? Now this fractal chaos band, fractal chaos, okay, you know, it gives you a strategy and a buy auto and a sell auto, okay? Now, that is what is causing the P&L down at the bottom, the fractal chaos strategy. The daily range system is just a plot on the screen to see, you know, where, uh, you know, but, as we can tell, these fractal chaos bands also are directly linked with this daily range system indicator. So I like to call this the bouncing brick, because once it hits the bottom, it bounces, okay? Alright, so that being said, we'll go ahead and we'll turn in the daily range system back on. Okay, we'll hit OK, we'll hit Apply, hit OK. Alright, and now we can see that, you know, our overbought and oversold, you know, clouds, you know, our daily range, you know, and uh, when it hits the bottom, it bounces, it can make it to the top and bounce back. Makes the screen a little busy, but I like the PL. Okay, now if we change this over to, you know, say the largest PL here was 200, 190, and Okay, now let's change this time frame from Ranko to 4 hour. Okay, now our PL is much, much more. Okay, $497. Okay, but. The Renko bars clear that action up so much, and using the Renko bar system, you can have money management a lot easier because each bar set on 10 ticks is 10 cents. So this is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. You almost made a whole dollar on that trade, okay? Now you can do the same thing, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, okay? So you know where you can get in and where you can get out. So you know that right here to here to here to here, okay, so we buy here and we sell here or we sell on the first red brick, all right? But those are the fractal chaos bands and the daily range system, all right? That's that's a really, really neat thing. Um, you know, uh, it, it like I say, it's a bit busy on the screen, so you've got to kind of jump back and look at it, but... You know, from this uh, particular standpoint, you know, you would have made a good bit of money uh, trading just this one global stock, it says. So, we can come in and, uh, you know, take a look at, um, let's see, what was the other thing I noticed? There's the daily range system, there's fractal chaos bands, and, uh, let's see here. I just want to see if I can do it. Type in range and see what pops up. Average daily range, open range breakout. So let's do our average daily range and get rid of our daily range system and we'll hit apply. We'll get rid of our fractal chaos bands and we'll hit apply. Okay, and with our average daily range, what does that give us? Okay, well, that gives us something kind of like a Bollinger band. Okay. Um, and it seems that it, it trades on similar principles, okay? Okay. Yes. 
I'm the new planner for November 20. So, the average daily range. Seems useful. But not the most useful indicator I have. Not making the top of my list for most importance, that's for sure. My story is as old as time. Girl meets boy, boy stabs girl, girl becomes serial killer? She's clothed, she's clothed. Who knows how many of our friends he's gonna kill? Body back. Come get it. I wonder what the two is. The two must be just the six. Introducing I must Xfinity Movie Premiere with movies triggers. straight from the theater into your home for the first time ever. Well. The frigid terrain of an untouched winter. Underneath this blanket of snow, a mystery awaits to be. Whoa. Uh, it's, it's a little different. Visit DCAreaAccuradealers.com for attractive offers on the MDX. Either that. Moving or transitioning to a new home can be a stressful I've tried situation, to it. especially if you wait until the last minute to start planning. If yeah, you need to downsize the family okay. home or move away, so here's what I was starting to do. I was starting to figure out where to get the signals from, plot by, plot cell. Okay, highest, lowest. Okay. And then if we want, we need to take an add a order in here. Now this is. Is this in the study? At Master Specialty Pharmacy, we're bringing the pharmacy to you. We're proud to introduce the Master Specialty Pharmacy. It doesn't say add order, so our delivery service. For all your daily medications, it couldn't be more convenient. We simply package all your medications Cancel. together, pre-sorted by day and time, and deliver we'll them create. directly to your door. Plus, our pharmacist can consult with you to review your medication needs and safety. Master Specialty Pharmacy. With our master's tools pack, okay. we can help you get through every day without Now we'll work. hit cancel. We'll hit OK. Now we need to go and grab our... Um, you know, are buying ourselves an untouched winter. from somewhere. Underneath this blanket of snow, a mystery awaits to be so Let's take our buying ourselves from... Let's see. The accuracy is never point to make is on now. I have them here somewhere. Visit dcareaaccuradealers.com for attractive offers on the RDX. Let's get to it, America. Because joy All doesn't right. just well, happen. We'll just take you them off of another happen. strategy. And during the Ford Fourth for the Holiday Sales event, we're helping you make even more joy. Okay. Come get the best deals of the season with offers on select Ford SUVs well, and have Ford one of my... Everything you need to make the holidays brighter than ever. That's how we're making joy this season. Strategies down here must have Get zero it. for 72, plus up to 4,000 trade assist and no payments for 90 days. Or choose up to 8,000 total cash on the 2020 Explorer and Expedition. Turkey and stuffing. Mashed okay. potatoes and gravy. Close. Cars and SUVs with a blind spot information system and cross traffic alert. Don't you just love the fixins? Ford, built for the holidays. Our lives have been turned upside down by COVID-19. Families and friends okay. are facing challenges now, like never before, which at times are leading to thoughts of suicide, possibly caused by the loss of a loved one or a livelihood. Based. But there's now a way got forward our in Frederick County. And our if cell. you or others you know okay. are struggling with thoughts of suicide, call 211 okay. or visit awayforwardtogether.org. You're not alone. All right. Let's move forward together. Now we've got our buy and our cell plotted here. If you think we're just four wells in a grill, let's get rid of this Think one. again. Let it apply. Uh -oh. We redefine freedom. But what really makes G? You do. G, there's only one. Right now, well-qualified returning Grand Cherokee lessees get the 2021 Grand Cherokee for $249 a month. Uh -oh. Alright. Now we're getting that problem on the bottom. <clears throat> because we need to change our plots. 
Okay. So go in here and everywhere it says plot, you'll change it to define. Okay. And now we'll go through and we'll hash everything out that has to deal with the paint strategy. That way, there's a copy of it here. We could delete it, but hashing it out, it's just making it unreadable. Hash mark, everything beyond the hash mark, if it says a hash mark, the computer reads hash mark and then says, don't read anything after this. Hash mark means nothing. Hash mark means skip me. So we'll do the hash and we'll hash it all out. And the hash mark is pretty well universal through coding. So we know that if we come across a piece of code and we know that it's hashed out with a hash mark or a hashtag, that that is not being included in the code, but it could be. Okay, or that it was hashed out for a reason. All right. So now we've changed all of those plots to define. And now this line here on the bottom should be gone when we hit save. So let's hit apply and hit OK. We'll hit OK. OK, look at that. They're all gone. OK. Now we do not have our plots for our buyer and our sell on our, um, you know, uh, see here, here's our strategy, that's what it did, but yeah, we don't have our buys and our sells in there anymore, so let's see if we can switch this around, okay, um, because this is negative P&L, all right, so let's take our strategy, all right, and close and close, buy to open, sell auto, so we'll do sell to underscore close. Okay. We'll hit apply. And hit apply. And uh, all right. Now, as you can see, we only had a buy and sell auto. It only happened one time. All right. Now, look at this. Now we do buy to open, sell to close, and we have a full. Okay. But. It's not working right. Why is it not working right? Well, let's see. Let's switch it to sell to open. And buy to close. Let's hit OK. Hit apply. And look at that. Magical P and L. All right, and that just goes to show you how you can reverse any strategy showing negative P&L and turn it into positive P&L so you can always make money. So if you've got a big red bar, that means that you're close. Flip a few things around and now you've got big green bars, okay? So there's a little bit of a coding lesson for people who, you know, want to step into a little bit of coding. You know, hashtags don't really mean anything, but they mean a a lot. So, you know, there's your hashtag lesson for the day, and there is your switch it around for the strategy for the day. And now we clearly have a strategy that is working on this time frame. Okay. So what we're doing is it's a short strategy. So we're going short and then we're covering. We're going short and then we're covering. Okay. Now let's see what happens on the 15 minute time frame. So, and, yeah, so it's, a, it's not going to work on every time frame, and it's not going to work on every stock, but, and if it does seem to be going the other way on you, yeah, so, zero, negative 100, zero, negative 100, zero, so you're making profit as the market is going down, okay? That's a wonderful thing. It goes down, but your P&L's going up. Okay, so we would want to find these buy signals, all right, and sell signals, but it just depends on how your bot or your strategy or your piece of code 
is programmed to work. And by adding these two simple symbols, signals, okay, and these two orders, I was able to build the strategy of the TTM replica, okay. Now, the TTM replica, okay, now let me pull this up. Okay, take our TTM replica, or our TTM2, or our TTM triggers. All right, it looks like I was trying to do something with this as well. Okay, so let's add this. Okay, let add. All right, let's get rid of our new strategy, but we should name it first. And we'll call it the TTM underscore replica underscore uh, no. bot trip to underscore awesome. short. Strat. E G A. Short strategy. All right, and we'll hit apply. All right, so let's put that away. We'll get rid of it. Okay. And it looks like it's given it the name. So equals name. T T M replica bot short strategy. Okay. So that's wonderful. All right, get rid of that. The frigidaire Let it fly. untouched winter. But okay. Underneath this blanket now, what did I take those signals off of? To... I took those signals off of these highs and these lows. Okay. Basically, pivot points. Okay. So I've taken those signals off of pivot points. All right. Don't miss it. Visit dcareaaccuratedealers.com for attractive offers. I have ideas. made other, better strategies. But this one right here really does rock. So the frigid terrain of an untouched winter. Take the time to, to learn this snow, strategy. A mystery awaits to just whoa. And what you do is you'll trade from red to green. Or from green to red. If we choose to make it that way. Okay? But that's exactly what you would do. And this seems to be a very accurate way to trade. If you think we're just four Let's take a look at, world, um, say again. Tesla. We redefine okay. Still accurate. Still very accurate. So, and what do we got here? 669, Tesla's going for a run. You know, we got our break here. I was in... I was watching the day it did this. I watched the second it did this, and I bought in, and I was able to get it and sell out here and make the money, and then guess what? I, I, I tried buying back in down here, and, and something spooked me out. I think it was this doji right here, and I sold. Um, and, and, and I haven't been back in since, and look at the runs that I've missed. So, you know, you don't always catch all the moves, but... You, you, you can try. And of course, had we had something like this up on the screen, we would have been able to see it, and we'd have caught it, and we'd have saw these big blowouts of volume. Um, but there's always another day. There's always another trade. Um, but how neat. So our TTM replica, or our you know scalper strategy, Okay, and we have our HT scalper or half trend scalper. Okay, so let's go here, and I have a bot for both. Okay, let's hit apply. We'll hit apply. We'll hit okay. All right, now why isn't that showing up? Okay, and let's get rid of the TTM replica. We'll hit okay. Now, where is it? Why are we not here? Okay, so it's in strategies, but it has an order. That's the problem, okay? So, with all of this order stuff, it's going to need to be over in the strategies, not the studies. So, let's go with HT again. Alright. HT scalper bot. Let's add it. Okay, let it apply. Okay. Now we can see that we have a long bot and a short bot, okay? And our HT scalper, or what's called the half-trend scalper, it identified here, it bought on here. 
It identified here, it sold here. It identified here and bought here. Okay? So, and we can we can tune this up a little bit. We can go in and um, make it execute when the condition is true, but we want a little bit of confirmation. So, but this half-trend scalper does work well, and I do recommend it. So, go out into the world, find the half-trend scalper, and try to, you know, play with it any way that you can see fit. But it does seem to work. Um, you know, you can make you know some good money on your trades here uh, with this half trend scalper. Now there are plenty, plenty of other you know stocks you can use to trade, and it even looks like I mean, wow, the 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 shaft you know uh, trend cycle and the H A Colt um, watch list that I built earlier, uh, it really picked up some some good moving stocks. So. Yeah, we can really, really uh, start to put a little bit more faith into the system that we're building for ourselves. Okay. So strategies. Eight month average. Let's see what that looks like. Making the time you spend together better in the eight passenger Okay. Well, I guess to get the eight month average we need to put it on a whole year so we can see it. I guess we don't get to see it. Okay. Looks like everyone's a winner today. Pillsbury. Buying versus selling power. Let's see what that is. That's in a strategy. It's meant to go into a study. So copy. Cancel. Delete. Delete. Okay. I'm going to studies. I create. And we'll paste. Okay. red because it no longer exists and we'll hit apply and here we go all right now so for buying versus selling power now what this does is it looks like it gives us paint it paints the bars you know and shows us down on the bottom when it's happening okay so kind of like a super trend okay indicator so we'll hit apply we'll hit apply and then every time that this comes true you know down here in the bottom the buying versus selling power you know, it represents it by changing the color of the paint bars. Okay. You know, similar to a super trend indicator. So it's it that that's kind of neat, kind of nifty. I almost like it. Okay. And let's go for. Hit apply, and now we get our stoplight indicator. It still has floating PL there. Why is that there? Let's get rid of that. Let's hit apply. Let's see if it comes back. No, it doesn't come back. Okay. Alright, so this seems the buying versus selling power almost looks exactly like the market forecast indicator. Um, if I didn't know any better, I'd say that they kind of ripped it off from that. But. I mean, I shouldn't say things I don't definitively know, but I can definitely tell you that a lot of indicators tend to look the same. So, you know, I guess you can make your own judgment about that. I mean, you know, but I mean, that's the point. You take the indicator out of the, you know, TD Ameritrade thinkorswim platform, you mess with it, you tweak it, you twerk it, you, you, you build your own, you know, system with it, and then you're able to 
you know, trade with that system. And now I've built myself so many different systems, I'm not so sure which one to use to trade. Um, other than the most reliable, the most, uh, the one that gives me the best signals possible. And for the most part, I have found a way to get those signals. So. It works. See, let's see here. Red, 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 red. We switch over to green here, and now we're green here, green here, boom, green. Okay. Now, let's get rid of our buying versus selling power. We'll hit apply, we'll hit okay. And it looks like we are showing our phantom rank of bars. react to moving averages? That's a good question. Well, let's find out. This is the 20 and the 50. Let's just go with one and go with a simple moving average. Okay. Sure, let's do a nine period and let's do a twenty one. Let's make the 21 period a darker blue. Okay. So now what do we got? Well, now we've got a 9 period and a 21 period. So we can use these to plot the direction of the stock. And with a Renko bar, it gives you some very, very good action. Okay. So I'll be working on uh, coding a scan. Yeah, for when. Mm. Let's say the four period moving average moves through, you know, uh, and then we know we can sell when we see the 21 pulling back through the, or, you know, we know to sell when the seven pulls back through the 13 or something like that. Uh, that's a pretty common one. Yeah, that's a pretty common one. iShares by BlackRock, IGE. Hmm. Okay. So what's that, BlackRock Capital? But so far, that makes a very, very interesting setup. So let's save this setup. Okay. And we'll call it the the Renko the Renko stoplight. Nine underscore twenty one underscore moving average. We'll head over. 
Okay. There we have it. <laughs> so let's see what we see next. Well, that looks like it tends to retract. And so let's see a retraction probably somewhere around in here and then a bounce. So it looks like we could be heading. Yeah, it skipped right over that guy. And it blew right through that red one. It blew right through a red one, so when that happens. You can usually assume when the nine and the twenty-one period strike a red or a green candle, that is the trend. Okay? So the twenty-one period striking a green candle, that's a good thing. Okay? The nine period, not so much so. We need the nine period to hit a green candle too. Or, yeah, get completely under it and left behind. So Oracle. Hit a double top. A triple top. And it, it may even still keep on going. That's 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 kind of impressive. So yeah, and I did. I, I sold out of my position. I sold out at 650. That's where I got my break at, right here. I sold on this bar. Alright. I mean, okay. And look right there. There was the top. So I was close. I, I knew the top was coming. I was like, oh man, it's coming. It's hit it there. You know, I gotta get out. And boom, there was the top. So I predicted that really well. Very proud of myself on that one. I don't normally pat myself on the back or anything, even though I should. I just don't see a reason for it. <laughs> 